everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. Today I wanna to show you how I make a really quick scratch feeder for my flock. This is a feeder that I like to have around so I can offer my flock a little bit of scratch, but we don't have any waste in the coop. Let's head to the barn and get to work. So I have a lot of feeders around that look like this and I've made them throughout the years and I like to use them because they keep whatever I put in here contained. The flock can enjoy the treat so they're enjoying what's down at the bottom here and it's not making a bunch of a mess in my coop. So to make this is so incredibly simple. All you need is some type of bucket or container. So I'm using this small bucket here that I have laying around. You can even use a recycled container. So if you have something that maybe pretzels came in, you could use that container. You're going to need a lid for your container. So depending on what kind you have, if you have a little bucket like this, you're going to need to get a lid. So I have a lid like this and it has a rubber seal on the bottom. Those gamma lids that screw and unscrew are really great if you can find one that matches the size of your container. I had some extra PVC pipe pieces laying around, so I used that here to make my entrance to my feeder. Entrance, is that the right word? Opening. <laughs> All right, so let me undo this here so you can see how I put it together. So I take my bucket and I want to screw some holes into it first. So I used the 7 8 inch hole saw. There we go. A 7 8 inch hole saw and I put little holes in here about every four or five inches. This is going to be for scratch so I found that these smaller holes work really good because scratch you know is a little bit smaller. If you're making for if you're making a feeder for say uh, some pellet food, you might wanna make your holes just a little bit bigger so those pellets can easily go inside and out. For my tray at the bottom, I'm using just a tray you would put underneath a pot. And I drilled a hole in the center of here. And I know, it's over a little bit from the center. There was a big <laughs> piece of plastic that pushed it over. So try to get as close to the center as you can. Drill a hole into this tray here. You're gonna add a bolt. So I had some bolts that were in my workshop that worked out great. It's about an inch. I'm gonna place that inside of there, like so. And I'm gonna take my bucket, which I've also drilled a hole in the bottom in, and I'm gonna place that on top. And then I'm just gonna use a nut here to tighten it. The chickens aren't gonna to get to the nut, so I don't have to worry about them trying to unscrew that and eat that. And I'm just gonna screw it down so it's really tight. You wanna make sure you choose a bolt that has a flatter head. Where this is going to be sitting, um, I could have this little bit of this bigger um, kind of top to my bolt here, um, but try to find a bolt that's nice and flat. When you're all done assembling everything, put your lid on top, fill your feeder, and offer to your flock. It's so easy, and as you can see in my video here, my flock loves it. Also, I think they really like the treats too, but hey, still. <laughs> Hopefully I've given you some inspiration to make your own quick, easy feeder, especially great for scratch. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Thank you so much for watching.